Roger Lewis speaking from Wiki Ballot, Grub Street Journal, uh, etc. I wanted to do a live stream today following up on uh, work I've been doing this week uh, regarding Wikipedia as a conduit for um, information into the mainstream media. So the title of this live stream is um, if you just bear with me, this is live and I'm just trying to get myself set up here, is uh, Wikipedia Encyclopedia or the new Reuters. Um, so Wikipedia, how it works, who and how many people use it and what level uh, do they do users interact with Wikipedia. So um, there are hidden layers in Wikipedia and I'll show you the obvious layers and the less obvious ones so you can get an idea of uh, uh, how the information can be used um, and I've got a logical sequence of uh, um, layers which I'm going to work through now this is going to be a it's going to take as long as it takes I mean it might take an hour it may take an hour and a half might even take longer so um, uh, so the subtitle is the hidden layers of Wikipedia and semantics um, and it's a live stream freestyle um, so uh, let's just turn off my Skype go back into the studio here um, I have two screens on my right screen I've got my um, stream yard uh, stream I'm not multiply streaming to different channels I'm just streaming to the wiki ballot Twitter stroke Periscope um, channel Periscope apparently is uh, being uh, decommissioned on the 31st of March so in a few days um, and Twitter are going to do something else and it'll be interesting uh, to see uh, what uh, that actually is now let me just see here I want to see that this is coming out um, I cannot see that I'm actually coming out live here. Um, it says I'm live. Let's see if I can find myself. Periscope. Um, Right. The periscope. Let's see where we're at. Um, uh, watch live. Here we are. Let's see if this is coming out. I don't want to sort of chat for absolutely ages and then find that I'm not. Uh, I don't want to move to Twitter. Oh, that is so annoying. How do you get rid of that? Uh, bum, 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 bum. That is hugely annoying, very disruptive. Um, let's just sign out there. Ah, oh, that's what it is. Okay. And then we need to go there. And here we are. Uh, we are live on Grub Street Journal and not Wiki Ballot. Okay. Right, okay, there's not much of a delay on the stream coming through. Um, I'm just going to retweet that. Um, and what else are we going to do? Well, that's it. I can hear the sound is going. I know it's streaming live, so this is going to be backed up. Uh, so th thanks for bearing with me. 
this is this one viewer which is me um which is fine and right let's see where are we at we can now shut down that window uh get rid of that window and we will now go back to my opening slide so good morning um I'll just do the introductions again um this is a live stream entitled uh, Wikipedia Encyclopedia or the New Reuters, uh, Wikipedia, how it works, who and how many people use it, and uh, what level do they interact with it, um, at, how do different people use Wikipedia, so that uh, the subtitle is the hidden layers of Wikipedian semantics, um, the uh, uh, It's the layering context, etc., of information. So the thing about Wikipedia is that it is a it links between different types of information and allows cross-referencing. Um, and it will link from outside of Wikipedia into the wider internet, and it can actually link within Wikipedia uh, to other articles on wikipedia but there are also page levels and so you have the article the talk page the history pages the um and you have the history of the talk pages the history of the article um and then behind that then as well there are ways of interrogating the changes that happen over time um and uh what's been added what's been taken out and that ends up being an incredibly powerful uh, analysis tool um, not only for the article itself and, and what that ends up saying but how that's come about um, and gives you different ways of looking at it now um, i'm going to just read one of my favorite forwards um, ever uh, the publisher of um, the essay on man by alexander Hope. This is at the, the beginning of, of the, uh, the, the works when they're published. It's a guy called Henry Morley, who is a famous uh, publisher. Uh, the reader of Pope, as of every author, is advised to begin by letting him say what he has to say in his own manner to an open mind that seeks only to receive the impressions which the writer wishes to convey. First, let the mind and spirit of the writer come into free, full contact with the mind and spirit of the reader, whose attitude at the first reading should be simply receptive. Such reading is the condition precedent to all true judgment of a writer's work. All criticism that is not so grounded spreads as fog over a poet's page. Read, reader, for yourself without once pausing to remember what you have been told to think. Now, obviously, that was when there was the printed word um, and the spoken word and uh, obviously various forms of art or whatever. Um, these days we have uh, video multimedia, so multimedia rich communication, including links to other sources of information, uh, but particularly video and sound and um, moving pictures and sound in pictures uh, early 20th century cinema stuff and people study um, that sort of the powerful or the power of that sort of communication in real time um, is very apparent in the real time nature of how art evolve on fast moving subjects on Wikipedia and um, this is something which I'm going to get to in a while when we look at the article Wikipedia's own article uh, about um, Wikipedia's reporting of the um, coronavirus pandemic the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic so we're going to start getting into some of the language of that afterwards um, but the uh, to get a full framework 
of um, understanding how powerful Wikipedia is and how uh, underneath the lead table, if you will, of Google as a search engine and the Alphabet Google suite of apps, um, YouTube, a video platform, obviously, and then Twitter as a social media platform, um and then you come wikipedia is is is, is, is actually number five and uh, number number four in the english speaking stuff that the one above wikipedia is, is one called beidou which is a chinese um uh information portal and the thing about wikipedia is that it's open source real time um and so to a certain extent so it so can youtube be so can Periscope be, for instance. I could be streaming this, for instance, live to Facebook, YouTube, um, LinkedIn, um, but but I'm not. I'm just just doing this to this channel on uh, through Periscope to uh, uh, my um, Grubsheet Journal Twitter account. Um, so that's the point about. Um, the, the point about uh, Google, YouTube, and Twitter is that they are centrally controlled. Um, there is the, the moderation is done mainly by artis artificial intelligence, with checking by uh, human beings, um, and it is their house, their rules, as it were. Um, and so it's kind of in the background how those decisions are made. There are various appeal process, perhaps that'll be a video for another day. Uh, but on Wikipedia, it's open source in real time. And it's, um, everybody is supposed to be equal in Wikipedia. And we're coming to that. It turns out that they're actually not. Um, but uh, at the first level, anyone can edit anything in real time at least for a period of time because there are various um editor privileges and administration privileges which allow blocking reversion the various appeal processes, and all the rest of it now we'll get to that too um most people that encounter wikipedia and decide oh well oh that's wrong i'd like to change that um will not continue to engage because um uh the the chances are it will be a live moving topic and it will be sensitive and um frankly there is a level of protection which i will prove to you through the course of this video uh which is not in accordance with the open source uh free speech um egalitarian uh, Wikipedia, which Jimmy Wales will tell you about, um, and he has a very different view on how that works to, say, Larry Sanger, who is the co-founder of Wikipedia, no longer involved, but um, is uh, involved with Everypedia or WAS, which is a blockchain encyclopedia based on the EOS blockchain, um, Ballotpedia, and various others. So uh, this week I've done a, a number of um, uh, Wikipedia series of booklets on my Yumpu channel, um, which gets into some of the more deeper elements of this. But for our purposes today, I'm going to look at uh, Wikipedia and its um, own article about its own coverage of um, the, uh, or how it sees its own coverage um, of the the, uh, the the current pandemic, or the, or the pandemic COVID nineteen, SARS CoV two, etc. Now, how Wikipedia sees itself, and an encyclopedia article about itself and about the coverage of something, um, in many respects, that's not encyclopedic, is it? It shouldn't, you know, there shouldn't be an article really about that. It may be a section of another article. Um, but the application of the rules, um, uh, there's an old 
aphorism he who has the gold makes the rules um that, that applies to uh money creation but but um that that's an interesting point which I, I might have something else to say to that when we get to that page um so first of all that's henry morley's uh thing sort of saying well look there are some complicated issues and there's quite a lot to get through here so in setting out one stall that takes a little bit of time um then uh pope's essay on man this is a word cloud uh, which talks about words that are interesting etc now the way that the collection of links that represents wikipedia the collection of words that represents wikipedia and the way that um machine learning or machine reading works um words how they're repeated how often and in which sections and all the rest of it um if, if you look at, uh, at some of the stuff about how voice recognition works, um, th the artificial intelligence is given some instructions um, about what to expect to see in association with other things. Now, these things to us as humans are words, to a computer they're patterns, and the patterns, uh, each pattern, say a word, and the different letters are given um, uh, basically a, a string of binary code, um, which uh, goes back to the, the whole idea of how um, what we read as humans on a screen um, is stored in binary code so a good way of getting into how say the letters on a qwerty keyboard translate themselves from um the letter on the key to what you press what happens next so if um if you press the the k for instance that sends a uh uh A point on the on the keyboard. It doesn't send a K. It sends a a location of, of where that and, and so it gives a certain pulse, which identifies its location and the key. Um, now, when that then gets re-rendered and come, uh, comes back out of that and that represents it on your screen, um, what the screen does is it puts that K at a coordinate on your screen with certain other information about what a K is, how you make a K, what, what color you want the K to be, um, the location you want it to be on the screen, etc. cetera. Um, and so it's a whole bunch of instructions about making a K on a screen at a particular point in time. And, and, and then to, to call back in to recreate where that k needs to go in relation say to the word like or usually these things are explained in terms of making a hello hello world message on on a on on a screen and um the idea of dealing with um mass uh editing if you like i'm not going to call it censorship at this stage but but um if if you want to have an um a portal of information um say twitter and so you've got those tweets how do you keep an eye on them uh well what what you do is you set a, you write a set of instructions to look for certain words or certain tags now this tag crowd here um is um you know if they have a hash on the front of them they would be good for seeing if you've got a hash tag on twitter and that's how things like what what's trending on twitter works it's a set of instructions to interrogate that information now i'm going to show you 
uh, some of the things later on on the Wikipedia, um, the, the Wikipedia project page, as opposed to the Wikipedia article about its coverage of the um, SARS-CoV-2 pandemic. Um, so the, these are layers of information of how this works or how you can get out or see what other information supports um, a particular claim, a truth claim, a news claim, a fake news claim. Um, and uh, word clouds, tags, um, what makes up a word in computer code and then how you uh, figure out, well, what does that mean to a human? Because what it means to a human is not what, you know, it doesn't mean anything to a computer. Um, the computer is just looking for patterns that some human has told it to look for. Um, people will tell you that uh, in machine learning algorithms or whatever, the, 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 the computer will start making its own uh, patterns or finding its own patterns. Um, but the starting conditions, the initial instructions are really key to where that ends up. Um, uh, I, I don't want to get too much into all the maths of it because it it, 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 it takes a little, well, it takes quite a long time to, to get your head around it. But um, the, these patterns, they call them sheep. Uh, on screensavers are something of the sort, and it's to do with uh, fuzzy logic, it's to do with um, uh, chaos theory and, and, and things like that. Um, but I'm going to make a couple of points now which kind of nutshells all of those things I'm talking about. So um, here we are. Let's just read this this is out of a Wikipedia article on an essay on man. And this is the, uh, the um, several stanzas which are in the Wikipedia article, which are relevant to this, this video. So here we go. Know then thyself, presume not God to scan. The proper study of mankind is man. Placed on this isthmus of a middle state, a being darkly wise and rudely great, with too much knowledge for the sceptic side, with too much weakness for the stoic's pride. He hangs between in doubt to act or rest, in doubt to deem himself a god or beast, in doubt his mind or body to prefer, born but to die, unreasoning but to err, alike in ignorance, is reason such whether he thinks too little or too much chaos of thought and passion all confused still by himself abused and disabused created half to rise and half to fall great lord of all things yet a prey to all sole judge of truth in endless error hurled the glory jest and riddle of the world Go, wondrous creature, mount where science guides. Go measure earth, weigh air, and state the tides. Instruct the planets in what orbs to run. Correct old time and regulate the sun. Go soar with Plato to the imperial sphere. To the first good, first perfect, and first fair. Or shred the mazy round his followers trod. And quitting sense call imitating god as eastern priests in giddy circles run and turn their heads to imitate the sun go teach eternal wisdom how to rule then drop into thyself and be a fool uh, so that's epistle two lines one to thirty of uh, pope's essay on man now then this uh, is the explanation of that passage on the article in Wikipedia on this poem. So, in the above example, Pope's thesis is that man has learned about nature and God's creation through science. 
Consequently, science has given man power, but having become intoxicated by his power, man has begun to think that he is imitating God. In response, Pope declares the species of man to be a fool, absent of knowledge and plagued by ignorance, in spite of all the progress achieved through science. Pope argues that humanity should make a study of itself and not debase the spiritual essence of the world with earthly science. Since the two are diametrically opposed to one another, man should presume not God to scan. Um, now, this then is the Wikipedia article. So here's the article, okay? Um, essay on man, there's the stanza or just or the, the passage, Epistle 2, lines 1 to 30, I read out. And here's that paragraph, right, which I put into that blog with Morley's introduction uh, from the full work. Now, in the talk page, here we are, um, down here at the bottom, um, on some, some, an editor has put in here completely wrong, and it's disagreeing with the interpretation. And it says, the interpretation expressed in this article is completely wrong. It's optimistic, all right, but only when you correctly define optimism as a Leibniz, as this is the best of all possible worlds. I'm not surprised that someone should come up with the reverse, because this is a very Whig country, which will not admit of original sin. Such people begin with God and not man. Bolingbroke was a Platonist, as were the 19th century Whigs, with all their coercive measures, and they remain so today. They make it seem man is perfectible, but make the attempt impossible and authoritarian. Whatever is must be right, whatever is must be right, because we are in no position to know otherwise, no matter what such people think. Right. So someone has expressed that opinion um, and it's, you know, it's a valid opinion. Um, some would say it's uh, the opinion of an Aristotelian over a Platonist uh, Thing that, that you know by their own words you would take that from it um but you know it, it's a point that's been made um there's doesn't appear to have been any uh uh attempt on the part of that person to change this back um this is on the poetry portal and the philosophy portal of um of wikipedia and um if we just have a look at the history on the talk page you can click on view history and you can see there have been very very few um revisions so if we go back to the article okay what you can do is you can actually look at, at the history okay now this is the history of the article uh, on which there have been rather more uh edits let's see if there are more than that if it's 500 uh so how long does that go on for let's have a look um yeah, it looks like yeah so the edit the, the, this article was created on the 14th of february 2005 okay and this is how it's been built up from all these different people and each person that's made an effort uh, has their editor's name or some of them will be by um uh people that haven't signed in or don't have an account and so these here are called ip addresses which is the general sort of location of where someone that's making an f edit that's uh, the ip location is where the information they're putting in enters the the internet at so it's a call it a telephone exchange um so that's that now on these uh view history pages there are things up here um find edition removal find edits by user uh find page statistics and page views and fix dead links all right now page views i was quite impressed by this uh th this actually the pay the number of page views on this the all-time page views it only goes back to 2015 so the first 10 years of it we don't know anything about um 1st of July 2015 to today, there have been 437,000 page views. Now that's 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 a very respectable numbers of, of number of, 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 of pages. I mean, the SEO man is probably Pope's most most well known work, 
Um, uh, but still, I, I, when I saw that number, I was I was pleasantly surprised. Um, but uh, anyway, so and that information and how that's built up allows one to build up a picture about this particular subject and analyze um, how uh, how that all hangs together. Now. Just at this juncture, I'm going to show you something which is on my blog, um, which is this one. Um, this is another blog I did. Um, uh, when's this? 10th of December. Um, and it's it's a passage from G.K. Chesterton's um, uh, book, The Utopia of Usurers. And he mentions this picture here, which is an advert. It's a famous painting that was used in an advertisement for Pears soap. Um, and uh, I'm not going to read this whole passage. It is worth reading. It's worth reading the whole book. Um, but what I'm going to do is um, I'm not going to make that point. What I'm going to do here, if I pump, put in here drunks and lampposts. OK. And that will come up here. Drunks and the lampposts. This is a post I did yesterday. Um, and it's a pun on, I was saying about the fourth pillar of the estate, uh, which I my claim is in, in, in Wikipedia being more a Reuters than an encyclopedia in some circumstances. Um, uh, it is, it is the joke that I was making there. Uh, but um, if we can just where are we uh i just want to get down to right these are twitter maps which show linkages between twitter accounts subjects and all the rest of it so this is the semantic information which you can extract like i was explaining about how computer code works with you know, making a letter appear on a screen from pushing a tack, uh, 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 the dashboard. This little bit of code here, um, this is showing how you want, uh, uh, how, this is, uh, 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 this guy's channel here, John Swain. John Swain is uh, um, a computer programmer um, and, uh, this work that he did is is very good. The reason I found his work it is from the drunks and lampposts po uh, uh, post, which I'm going to show you in a minute, because that's to do with Twitter. Drunks and lampposts is to do with Wikipedia, but they do the same thing. So it's this one here, right? Drunks and lampposts. Okay, um, and so I'm going to open. This is in the web archive. So this is the thing: the internet is forever, not just for Christmas. Sometimes the web archive, there are archive things that do get um, do get erased. That happens on Wikipedia too, and I will um, I'll I'll get to that. Um, but uh, these are the layers of the internet that, um, unless you're a computer nerd like me, you 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 may not know about them. Um, so, right, drunks and lampposts. Now, this. Um, uses something called Gephi, uh, which is a, um, applied in using graph technology to um, extract information. And this is the philosophy portal on uh, Wikipedia. Okay, so and graphing the history of philosophy. Now, um and it looks at the, and this is talking about influences listed in the article the the school of philosophy that someone belongs to um which other schools it's been influenced by and who it's influenced and then they provide up these these they're like heat maps um and it you know it it it, it, it you you can make uh Inductions as to how influential someone is 
by how many links they have to other things. So this is in terms of citations um, within Wikipedia itself. Twitter is in terms of linkages between in, in John Swain's work. Um, and uh, so drunks and lampposts, this, this applies to how you do it with, with Twitter. And there are lots of things that flow from that. Um, I had an idea, uh, which I discussed with a programmer friend of mine, to actually, uh, it occurred to me that you could make an educational game based on locations in the same way that kids hunt for Pokemons and stuff like that. You could actually use this semantic information in the back end of Wikipedia to almost, you know, like these paddles you get at museums, which tells you about different entries or, or, or exhibits at the museum you could do one of those in real time references wikipedia as you go around and instead of playing catching pokemons you, you could more or less tour anywhere based on your coordinates uh, you know you could get a guided tour of a city for instance and, and with uh, text to voice all the rest of it um you know you you, you uh, but i digress so drunks and lampposts and 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 the way that information is structured and, and so some of the conclusions that you can can draw. So before we go into all of that, the next part of this talk now is what I'm going to do is actually read the Swedish article on COVID-19. Uh, so, uh, right, where are we now? Um, and it's this one here, right. Now, this one here, you can see up here it says SV Wikipedia. So this is Swedish Wikipedia and it auto translates to English. OK, and so this is the coronavirus outbreak 2020 2021 in Sweden. OK, um, I just want to make sure I'm getting into the right place here. OK, right. So. The first paragraph is called the lead. And it is a very short paragraph. The coronavirus outbreak 2020-2021 in Sweden is part of the ongoing pandemic of the disease COVID-19, a disease caused by the virus SARS-CoV-2. The symptoms of COVID-19 may vary from person to person. The symptoms can often be difficult to distinguish from the common cold, flu or allergy. However, some suffer only from mild cold system symptoms with runny nose, whilst others develop a flu-like symptoms with headache, fatigue, fever, sore throat and myalgia, in more severe cases with pneumonia. So, um, and then you, you can read this yourself. I mean, it, it, this is uh, on Swedish uh, Wikipedia. That is the lead. And... Um, if we just view the history now, what surprised me about this has actually quite a low number of pages. Now it's Swedish insight, it's Swedish Wikipedia, and it uses a different script for the number of page views. Um, you've got different options in, in, in what you can analyze on that subsection of Wikipedia. But this is close enough for government work, number of page views. Um, it, it does look like it goes to the same, the same, uh, the same thing, and I like to look at all time. Um, and obviously, this came along in December, so you can see twenty-two thousand four hundred twenty-seven page views on the Swedish entry um, in Swedish of this pandemic, and you can see uh, most of those. Oh, is it, when, when was this article created? Let's let's just have a look at that, shall we? Um, I don't want to mislead anyone here. Right, article. Let's have a butcher's. Uh, 500. Oldest 500 is what we're waiting for now. So, let's have a look here. Uh... <laughs> Okay. okay, let's see. 
you can see it's all reverted to Swedish because it's only the article that automatically oh no there we go um, so this was created on April the 5th 2020 um, that's when this page was created and so since then just go here right so it's created on April the 5th so let's just say let's get that in here we'll just go back just to get an accurate or a better graphing of it I'll go there hey blah 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 custom range apply uh. to the end of is it gonna let me do that let's just say the last year then oh good god what's going on here well most of these views have been well that that is remarkable that really is remarkable let's just have a look see what's happening here um so most of you seem to be in December. So let's just go to December 2020. December 2020. Yeah, this seems to be December. And uh, let's just go here. Change that to 31st of December. Oh, it's not giving it to me, is it? It's not liking that. First of the 12 2020 31st of the 12 2020 that is absolutely amazing so sorry about this guys I'm getting a little bit carried away yeah okay. Last year, this year, aha, that's better. All right, so most of them have been this year, and you can see how they've spread out. Um, but that's not a lot of views on this subject. Uh, um, if we look at the English version, um, which we'll just get to. SARS-CoV-2, right, so this is the technical um, SARS-CoV-2 on the Swedish page. And again, uh, the Swedes are pretty pragmatic and, and, and uh, very matter of fact, no nonsense. So, um, right, SARS-CoV-2, severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, which roughly means severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. Um, is a human and various animal species infectious coronavirus that causes COVID-19 disease and which has caused the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, first discovered in late 2019 in Wuhan, China, has previously been called the 2019 novel coronavirus, 2019 
dash N cov and formerly also the Wuhan coronavirus. SARS-CoV-2 causes respiratory infections that in most cases lead to milder disease symptoms that go away within two weeks. But sometimes, especially in certain groups such as the elderly and people with chronic illness, it can lead to death. The origin, i.e. from which host animal the virus originates, is still unknown. Um, and then it goes into some of the technicalities and there's a very fetching uh video rendering here which shows how uh the virus enters into um uh into a cell and causes an infection so th that's you know that that's a computer rendered animation so that's uh computer generated imaging it's it's uh Whereas these are um, images made up uh, from electron microscopes. Um, now, electron telescopes and electron microscopes. Now, this is an interesting thing. Um, when you see those beautiful pictures taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, what they are are artists' impressions of the data that comes in what it might look at like the colors that are put in there it's an interpretation of the thing and not the thing in itself um and that's actually uh in terms of electron microscopy um in terms of uh quantum mechanics and um uh what's known as the statistical turn in physics that's actually a very real point you know um uh which get back to basic philosophical questions, um, such as, is there beauty without observers? Um, which is very apt when you're talking about electron microscopy and also electron telescopes, uh, which uh, are similar things. So anyway, that's that, that, that's that. Now, what I wanted to do then was just go to the uh this is the english encyclopedia so this is n e n dot wikipedia rather than sv dot wikipedia and then this is the covid 19 pandemic in sweden now if you understand swedish or speak a bit of swedish as i do uh it won't surprise you that the lead in the swedish article is rather shorter than the lead in the uh in the English one, and I've pointed this out regarding Wikipedia and the consensus protocols. The Swedes do consensus by default. It's a consensus-based um, collective society, really. Um, whereas there's a more the individualism, which is in the culture of the UK and particularly the US. Um, consensus isn't, it means something completely different. And a short lead and less arguing um, is a cultural thing with the Swedes. Whereas um, for native English speakers with a cultural, um, more based in common law, as opposed to say the more European um, ideas of, of, of Roman law, lead to a different way of reaching consensus and what you then say. So this is the English article about what's happened in Sweden. So you can see it's a much longer lead. Um, and then if you go to the talk page, uh, lots of these badges and all the rest of it. Um, and there's quite a long discussion about all these these graphs. Now, I was involved in in this. That there's a there was a way of graphing it which I actually preferred, which which made it much easier to understand. Uh, this this way here. Um, this is intensive care hospitalizations up to about March in Sweden this year. You can see the numbers are pretty low. Um, and in the article itself, okay. Um, if we get down, I mean, you can read these articles in your own time. I'm, I'm, I'm not cherry picking here. I'm making points about uh, uh, 
uh, which I'll sum up at the end. Um, so, uh, so effects of it, all the rest of it. And if you don't know, Sweden has handled this whole thing rather different to everywhere else. Now, cases per day, you can see cases per day is still going up. That's the first graph. Total hospital, hospital hospitalizations. Okay, total ICO uh, hospitalizations. That's a cumulative figure. Hospitalizations per day. Now, um, you can see that it's like Twin Peaks here. Um, right. And obviously they're down now. Cumulative deaths. Um and then deaths per day. You see, deaths per day is is getting down to the vanishingly small, and you've got these two two bumps, right? One, uh, which is would be a, a very late flu season, and one which coincides with the flu season, um, and then deaths in nursing homes, so on and so forth. Um, all now, this is the question: all all cause daily death all causes per standardized month okay per hundred thousand inhabitants now this is interesting this graph here in that in 2020 at the height of the pandemic in april you can see there were uh excess deaths in 2020 excess deaths in 2020 excess death in 2020 um and then in January, okay, they haven't done the other months because there haven't been any, um, and compares it to these other years, okay, um, and you can see that for January, February, March, July, August, December, October, November, not December, uh, but I think in january february whatever there haven't been any excess mortality for all figures in in sweden now what's interesting then about that is uh this paper here which i found just from that little um observation there uh, this is actually a, a a paper published um mortality in norway and sweden before and after the covid 19 outbreak a cohort study okay so these are the authors, uh, Frederick Jewell, medical officer, Henrietta Giordal, uh, Oren Olsvik. Um, so, you know, you can see that these are, I'm not sure which institution they're from. Um, and it, it's right. Okay. Oh, right. Oslo University Hospital, Arctic University of Norway. Uh, yeah, someone from Varmland. So it says who, who's done this paper. Um, and if you look at the abstract of this paper, well, the results, it says, right, in Norway, Norway, mortality rates were stable during the first 12 month period, 2015 to 2016, 216, 17, 217, 18, okay, with 14.8 to 15.1 deaths per 100,000, slightly lower in the two most recent periods, including during epidemic period 18, 19, 19, 20. So that's 14.5 per 100,000. In Sweden, all cause mortality was stable during the first uh, three 12 month periods. So that's 2015, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, with a mortality rate of 17.2 to 17.5 per 100,000. So the mortality rate in Sweden is higher generally than, than 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 in norway um and uh, but then it says that the mortality rate which is usually higher than norway was actually lower in sweden in 2018 2019 okay so it's down to 16.2 which was approaching you know norwegian levels then covid 19 associated mortality rates were 0 0.2 per hundred thousand um uh no 95 percent uh correction uh, that, that's the error um band uh 0 0.1 to 0 0.4 uh in in norway it was 2.9 um uh no 2.9 in sweden and 0 0.2 in, in in norway 
uh, right, the increase in mortality was confined to individuals in 70 years or older. Now, those are three key in, important bits of information. But then when they come to the conclusion, what they say is um, uh, the observed increase in all case m cause mortality during COVID-19 was partly due to a lower than expected mortality preceding the epidemic. And the observed excess mortality was followed by a lower than expected mortality after the first COVID-19 wave. This may suggest mortality displacement. Right. So, I mean, that is an interesting paper. I, I'm, I'll put all these links into... Um, I'll, I'll make a yum poo book. I'll tell you what that is in a minute, because what I'll do is just uh, I'll explain my workflow in 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 a se in a second. So anyway, that 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 that's that, um, and that's the COVID nineteen um, English Wikipedia COVID nineteen. Okay, uh, and where's the Swedish one? And then that is the English right. So that's the Swedish one. Right, COVID-19 pandemic in Sweden. Uh, right, this is the English uh, for COVID-19 in general, okay? Or co coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19, okay? Um, and then, so this compares to the... This is the this is the Swedish article on the same thing. So there you've got a short lead, okay? And here um, on the English thing, you've got actually quite a long lead, okay? Um, and it says quite different things, and you can compare those. Um, and then in terms of view view history, let's just have a look at that one. Um, page views. Let's just say all time. There you go. Okay, so you can see the seventh of February, twenty twenty. So, uh, what we're going to do? Let's just one point nine million page views. Um, let's see how they're distributed, shall we? Uh, boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. We want to go from the first of the second two thousand and twenty to now apply. So I do it. Yeah, okay. So right, so this is views of this page. Um and uh you can see there have been 1.9 million views of uh, that particular page, uh, which is the technical page about the disease itself, as opposed to the article about the disease. So, right, you might want to read that. Um, and then the next thing then I want to do is... Uh, Here we are. Is it this one? It is this one. Right. So this window here shows um, English Wikipedia COVID-19 pandemic. So this is the the big one. You know, this is this is this is the flagship article of Wikipedia. OK. Um, for COVID-19. OK. Um, and uh if we say you, you can see it's a it's a relatively short lead um there'd be a lot of work has gone into that um the talk section let's have a look at that um there's a notice for people who, to let them know how to contribute and what have you um that's actually quite a short Right, it's pinned not automatically. Eh? Now, transclusion problem. Right, current consensus. Now, this this is very interesting. Going back to what I made about consensus is earlier. So, this is the consensus on what they should say about it. 
okay the, the people contributing to the page now that's that's an important that's that's not a consensus of all scientists all journalists all commentators or politicians or citizens all um specialists in the field or more generalist people that that this is the current consensus as applies to people who have looked at this page and sought to contribute to it okay um and uh the current consensus so let, let's just get so what's interesting on this page okay so on talk this is another interesting thing about history if we go view history okay um and you can actually say right okay uh, page statistics okay this is different to page views so on page statistics these will come up now in a minute right so pie charts beautiful so here we are um general statistics it will say right top 10 by edits okay so doc james has done 16.8 percent of the edits okay and gerald waldo lewis has done 224 which is 4.9 percent of the edits okay by text added so that's actually just by you know involvement as it were um and this is actually by the num the, the amount of actual text added okay um so sdkb for instance has added 459760 um pieces of text which is 23% so this person has written 23% of all the words um appear, uh, appearing is this on the article or on the talk page this is on the article okay um doc james uh is coming in at number two on on the the amount of text 14.9 percent whereas of course he's 16.8 percent by edits so they're reversing each other uh right have we got anyone in this list that isn't in this list um well anyway you can you, you can draw your own conclusions from from that but but you can see there these are the people that form that consensus okay now if we just go back here now back 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 right now if we go to the article itself okay here's the article please right so this is the article this is the flagship article of wikipedia and i'll prove that to you in a second that they consider it so jimmy wales considers it so um view history here we go so these are the edit histories um and if we say page views now okay uh and we want the all-time okay 21 million 150,807 page views okay uh the article was created you can see at the beginning is seventh of the third ish so let's just change that here to first of the second 2019 and spread those out a bit more custom range apply uh wow look at that it's um all right 14th of the third let's just go to the 14th of the third there just to get an idea right one four 14th of the third apply okay now 
good lord look at this it's quite amazing okay 14th of the third so we need to go to the fifth the fifth for for the bulk of it so 22nd of the third to, let's just put that on a logarithmic scale okay so you can see there are three steps here so around the 11th of march things really started taking off here and then again by the 5th of may uh this article started dominating the uh num people coming to wikipedia by far and away the most of them that came to it came to this now at this stage i'm just going to do something else okay if we go here okay um and if we put in vernon coleman right uh vernon coleman wikipedia one here he is right oh he's on vetpedia we'll we'll open that there we are wikipedia right right so we can see in the top left hand side here english wikipedia here's vernon and it says right vernon coleman is an english conspiracy theorist anti-vaccination activist aids denialist blogger and novelist who writes on topics related to human health politics and animal issues coleman's medical claims have been widely discredited and described as pseudoscientific he was formerly a newspaper columnist and general practitioner okay so let me just show you something here view history if we go to the page views here okay all right and then if we go to the all time page views okay okay so we see a similar thing here um oh, this article has existed for a long time but uh this date here between the 7th of march and the 5th of april okay i think it was the uh dr coleman released a video which was um critical of the british government's handling of corona of, of the coronavirus e epidemic of various policies related to that um and uh what happened was the the views spiked on his page you see so there's 519,000 page views here okay now uh if we just change this now to to 2020 okay and we'll just go the first of the first 2020 to now okay apply that custom range okay so 479,000 views okay uh and so now we're narrowing it down you can see 17th of the third it began to spike okay so if we just put that in there then we'll put in the 17th of the third 17th of the third here apply so 17th of the third there you go there's the first spike um by the 21st of the third there there were 6522 views then it dropped off and then it's sort of been you know if we put it on a logarithmic scale uh that will give you some idea of i mean that's actually a fairly there's interest in this article okay now if we compare the the timeline now on uh the wikipedia article let's just go back to that it's this one here okay so not that one this one okay no not that one is it this one yeah this is it right so this is the covid19 uh one and the 21 million page views okay now let's just uh we'll take it from the 11th of the third 
the 11th of the 3rd, 2020. Apply. Okay, here we go. So you can see 11th of the 3rd, 17th of the 3rd, by the 28th, well, where are we? This, this, this here, 4th of the 5th. So, right, 11th of the 3rd, let's just have a look at something, shall we? 17th of the 3rd. Okay, we've got a spike here, 17th of the 3rd. Uh, let's just take that back to the 1st of the 3rd. Apply. Right, first of the third, it just jumps up here on the, the jump occurs on the 17th of the third. The 17th of the third. So on the 17th of the third, 2020, okay, the actual article itself got 221 views, okay? Whereas Dr. Vernon Coleman on the same day, the 17th of the third, let's just find. There you go, the 17th of the third, Dr. Coleman got 2,478 views right so now then what i'm going to do now is if we just go back here okay uh and what we want to do is on the article we want to view the history right so this is the history and we want to get back to the 17th of the third let's have a look uh so if i press that there So, what we can do is we go down here and we get March. We want the older. So, this article was created some time ago. So, um, right. Okay. So, uh right okay so third of january so, so right where are we um 19th of march 19th of march 26th of february so let's just have a look right now what this is going to show us there is on the 26th of february okay there's some stuff going on here but the lead on the article said this at that point right 26th of february vernon coleman is a former general practitioner and the author of over 100 books in 25 languages including non-fiction works about human health politics critic critic and a cricket rather and, and animal issues and a range of novels his books have appeared on several best that sellers lists including the sunday times life without tranquilizers reached the tech top 10 of the sunday times in march 1985 his book body power reached several bestseller lists in the uk one of his novels mrs caddicott's cabbage war has been turned into a movie with the same name coleman is a militant vegetarian anti-vivisectionist Coleman complains that his campaigning has made him many enemies and he has been regularly attacked by large corporations and their spokesmen. Uh, so on, so forth. OK, so that's that's that. Now, um, if we go now to Vernon Coleman YouTube. OK. Okay, Dr. Vernon Coleman, YouTube. Uh, let's 
let's have a look. Deleted video, deleted video. Okay, let's have a look at the videos. So, sort by most popular. Nine months ago, ten months ago, why did YouTube ban my video? Right, okay. So, here we go. Now, this is going to tell us something. So, Dr. Coleman, okay, made a video on May the 13th about a video that got banned okay and that video is talking about um we uh, what i want to do first is just go to this one here let's just say oh, oh, Wikipedia. okay uh right this is it okay so Right, so I watched that in your own time. It's a really good video. Um, and then what I want to do now, I just want to do a word search. So you can get transcripts on YouTube. And so what happens is it's voice to text automated scripts. And so this is how the Google algorithms can see what people are saying. So they can look at things like what you write, what, what the title is called, what hashtags you put for it. And you have to do that to get found by the algorithms. But if you want to put something up, um, you, you can kind of camouflage it. If you look at cultstate.com, um, uh, Patrick Ryan that, 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 that writes that, um, he's a hacker acquaintance of mine. And... Um, he talks about how butterflies with patterns on their wings fool their prey and you can you know that that's a way of 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 uh, not getting identified for being um outspoken if we put it that way um it, it is 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 by at the surface level which the algorithms look at to uh so but what you're actually saying on youtube they can look at this stuff OK, and they use the same um, identification of words, combination of words, etc., cetera, um, to uh, look for patterns that then put up a red flag. And then basically what they'll do is if they have uh, two or three of those patterns, it will automatically ban. If it's just one, they might have a look at it because it, um, what what this is, is a huge amount of data with lots of different combinations. And when you have a lot of different possible combinations with several different variables, it leads to something called MP hard problems. Um, and that's also what um, Alexander Pope is getting at as well. I mean, the, the, the understanding of it back then was slightly different. Um, actually, in the response to that, where he talks about Leibniz, I mean, Leibniz is uh, the co-founder of calculus. Um, and uh, 
so you know our ancestors it wasn't so different to now it really wasn't and in many cases the understanding of the limitations of the frontiers of knowledge were actually rather more uh modest less hubristic if we put it that way um now what we want to find on this now is uh this when did you do it i think it was in march so we March the 18th, there we are, March the 18th, 2020. So on March the 18th, 2020. So uh, March 18, 2020. Uh, ba -ba 2020. No, no, no. Coleman brand new YouTube. Ah, uh, yeah, let's see. Here we are. So, first published on YouTube in March 2020, right? Um, not sure it's right. so march the 18th so march the 18th this video appeared on the youtube channel got banned um but at that point if we just come back here now march the 18th okay uh this is the article on the pandemic on wikipedia and um so on the 17th of march that's the right on the 18th of march 2020 Wikipedia had 221 views, okay, um, on its own article about this thing. But Dr. Vernon Coleman, okay, uh, go back to the article here, view history. On the 18th of March, page views here. do us apply well would you believe it here we go look 17th of march uh 2000 18th of march 3000 19th of march 5000 20th of march 6000 okay so there was a huge spike 20th of march 2020 People obviously saw that video going viral on YouTube and came running across to this page. Um, they managed to suppress the traffic down um, much lower uh, by about the 6th of, of, of May. Um, the, the video was banned, of course. Um, and then obviously now, a year later, um, this page is getting 6,000 views. 8,000 views. That's a lot of views for someone that is um, not uh, giving the party line, as it were. Um, so let's just hammer home this point. Uh, and there's a couple of other things on this page I just want to point out. Um, right, talk. Oh no, hold on, article. Let's just do article again. View history. And got, come on, view history. Uh, right, page statistics. Okay, page statistics. Remember, we looked at these uh, for the for the main article on COVID nineteen, Wikipedia's flagship article, and you can see here, uh, right, top ten by edits, Mr. Earl Gray, Mr. Phil Bridger, right, 
top 10 by text, Mr. Earl Grey, Bill Bridger. So that's on the article. I think that's the article as it currently stands. Um, now, let's just go back now uh, here. Uh, right, so tour. I've shown you how how it changed again at at, at, um, at that time. Um, now there are various articles on this talk page, okay? Because this is very controversial. There's a hell of a lot of stuff. Quite a lot of it's related to me. The last bit, I'm I'm sort of basically trying to get more balance in the lead. Um, and then there are these archives because discussions get archived and on some pages there are several archives which i'll show you on another page in a minute um but it's quite clear that um people were getting information from a dissenting voice which has been shut down and the discussions i've made another video about these discussions on this page and what conclusions one might draw from them um i'm actually Personally, I, I can't edit on Wikipedia until next week now because I'm I'm blocked um, and I've been blocked by um, uh, editors that are involved in the history of this stuff. And they obviously aren't very keen on Dr. Vernon. I, I, you know, I, I haven't got an axe to grind apart from I think Wikipedia should be independent and an encyclopedia and not a, a new source like Reuters or AP. And this is the next point that I'm coming to. My argument that Wikipedia has become more like the Associated Press or Reuters or Ticker news services uh, in its real time coverage on articles such as stuff about Pope or about different academics um and again i've made other observations about this through the week um uh, about um even co fairly controversial academics within their own subject um but it's public figures celebrities uh keystone narratives within the mainstream media and if you bump into that, this sort of thing happens. And Dr. Coleman's video about Wikipedia is actually spot on. Um, so that that's that's showing some layers. I've shown the difference in Swedish Wikipedia um, and English Wikipedia on reporting the Swedish pandemic. We've looked at the uh, difference between the Swedish and the English version of Wikipedia on the actual virus itself, um, which are much te the, the technical stuff, which are much more low, low key than the front facing stuff um, and have a, a much lower audience. Then we've looked at where the main article and the interface with a supposedly unrelated article. So Dr. Vernon Coleman, um, who's probably one of the most high profile um, casualties by way of character assassination of uh, the current pandemic and surrounding propaganda narrative efforts. Um, and now we're going to look at Wikipedia itself and um, I'm going to start that by looking at um, we, we, we already had a brief look at the COVID-19 pandemic article. This one here, which has had 21 million views um, since March 2020. OK, um, and you can see the, the views started picking up 10th of May 2020. OK, so that's really when they got their act together. OK, now. Wikipedia coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic, okay? So this is the article about the coverage, okay? And um, it English, Wikipedia, German, Indian, Japanese, Spanish, Wikidata, Wikimedia Foundation. Um, there's, here we are, right, so. Um, 
Jimmy Wales, let's look, if we open that, look, Jimmy Wales is the co-founder, okay, Jimmy Wales is an American-British internet entrepreneur and former financial trader, also a co-founder of online non-profit encyclopedia, Wikipedia, blah, blah. Uh, now, his co-founder is this guy here, Larry Sanger, so if we open that one, but let's just do what we're doing, Jimmy Wales, view history okay let's just go at uh, page views okay let's go all time all time page views okay three million all time page views and there are certain spikes now there's a spike here uh, this one here, when's, uh, 1st June 2017, these spikes are going to coincide with mainstream media coverage or some sort of press related to that. One of these spikes is almost certainly going to be uh, when Larry Sanger was criticising uh, Wikipedia, um, or maybe it was a bit further back. So, right. It's, critical of the project so since Sanger's departure from Wikipedia has been critical of the project open link okay describing it in 2007 of being broken beyond repair the statistics the page statistics don't go back that far um, so um, uh, where are we um, newpedia Right, states as Wikipedia of 2001. Yeah, this spat kind of predates it. So, so it's it, it's almost in room 101 um, in the memory hole. Anyway, but let's just have a look at. There's the article. View the history, and we'll go view history, and we'll go for page views. And we need to go all time. Okay, less than a million all time views for Larry Sanger with a spike here. What's that spike? 31st of the 5th, 2017. Thirtieth of the 5th. 2017 so something's happened between jimmy wales and larry sanger at at that point in time um and there's a spike in both of their viewing figures it's quite i'm not going to book you know I, 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 i'll probably my curiosity will get the better of me and i'll have to find out what that is but i'm not going to do it in this video so uh let's just uh go back here Right, so Jimmy Wales, so this is the, uh, let's call it a, what it is, it's a puff piece, um, Wikipedia coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and uh, you can read it yourself, see what it says. Um, and then if we just do what we've been doing, look at the history, view history, okay. We'll start off with the page statistics, just to see who's been editing it um oh here we are look what, what we got here that's interesting um 70 percent of it is someone called another believer okay which is interesting so let's just have a quick look at that right another believer so you can click on that and you'll get their talk page um right user page oh wow look at this Profile, Wiki CV, works in progress, featured articles, Donald Trump. Um, and what else have we got? Uh, featured lists, good articles, see interests, Wikipedia. Right, so let's just go Wiki, Wiki CV. 
Okay, so I support Wikimedia Foundation projects. So this is obviously a very esteemed um, Wikipedian. That's what the Wikipedians. Um, so articles, architecture, art, biographies, geography, lists, literature. Okay, so there you go. That's that. Um, and then in the talk section, very little in the talk section. So in, in terms of the edit and whatnot, they, they're not being called into, into many articles. Uh, right, view history. Let's view it history. Okay, view history. Okay, so let's have a look at page views for the star editor of the Wikipedia puff piece of coverage of Wikipedia. Um, there we go. All time page views. Eight thousand two hundred and six page views, very evenly spread. Now, what I'm going to do now is let's just do. This is a bit of an aside here. Uh, William Connolly. Okay, let's have a look. William Connolly. William E. Connolly. Wikipedia. There you go. So. Uh, no, it's another one. We're looking for disembag. Disem I may the Wikipedia. Disembag dis area, right? Okay, so William Connolly is a um, climate modeler, and uh, you know, uh, I, I think well, that's his biography, etc. Um, if we just view history here, okay, and if we go to page views. Okay, all time. Eighteen thousand page views. Now, the gentleman we've just been looking at, um, uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, yeah, another believer. Eight thousand page views. Um, eminent. Wikipedian, obviously, you know, invested in it at the best interests of the thing. Let's put it that way. William Connolly, on the other hand, uh, has been famous for controversial editing. Um, and uh, he is an expert. You know, it's got to be said. I mean, he's, 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 he's the, you know, he's, he's a highly qualified academic and expert in certain areas and all the rest of it um who has a different philosophy for editing and, and tolerance of editing particularly with regards to climate related issues on wikipedia let's put it that way um but he's had a similar number of page views as this other guy right but to a certain extent well of course they're wikipedia insiders i would call them and um uh one is not doing hardly any editing, certainly not controversial or anywhere where anyone's going to go up against him. Whereas William Connolly has been deep down in the gutter of fighting the narrative war on climate change. Um, just put it that way. And um, 
Uh, it's interesting that they have a similar number of page views, but not very many. But their influence, particularly of this gentleman, William Collier, has been really rather huge to the extent that he actually was banned for editing for a while. Um, and, you know, uh, if an editor gets administrative uh, administrative privileges, they can abuse them. And indeed, ideologues do do that. Um, it's kind of like a, a fifth column within a fifth column in, in a way. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's that, that, that is an interesting point. Um, so uh, this then. Oh, no, that's William Cooper. Uh, he, he wrote a book called something the pale horse um and he's had nearly two million page views um so he is five times more relevant say than dr vernon coleman if, if you like um but if you read his article um okay and, and he's basically a gold-plated solid platinum um conspiracy theorist by that definition um but it's not used in it's not used in quite the same pejorative sense um this article doesn't do nearly as much of a job on william colley as has been done in the character assassination of vernon coleman and what we've been looking at just now in terms of the wikipedia puff piece about its own um its own uh, coverage of uh, the um the pandemic uh it, it, this stuff is is obvious if you look at it, it it's it, it's very very plain um Right, here we are back again. Um, sorry, up my, my computer. Right, here we are back again. Um, sorry, up my, my computer froze then. So hopefully I'll be able to download this stream and put it back up on Odyssey later. The library's changed its name to Odyssey. I use live well, I use Odyssey as it's called now, BitChute, um, Steam, uh, Mines, uh, I, IPFS, Interplanetary File System. I mean, I, I I use a lot of distributed web, but um, the thing about um, Wikipedia, uh, Twitter, um, which is actually not as popular as Wikipedia, I don't think, uh, but, 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 but um, uh, Google and its suite of apps, YouTube and uh, Facebook, 
um, they are by far and away the most um, ubiquitous, widespread, commonly used um, platforms. And that is where, that's basically where you find the broad mass of people. Um, and the distribution of, of the audience can be seen quite clearly by, by analyzing uh, Wikipedia articles such as in the Drunken Lampost post, which I mentioned at the very beginning of, of this blog. Um, so let's just get back to where we were at here. Um, dim, 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 dim. So we were about to go back to Wikipedia coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic, the talk page on that um, has got one set of archives. So search our, hold on, let's just search our archives and see what we've got. Uh, deletion, let's see if anyone's proposed to delete it. Hold on, that's it. Right, deletionism and inclusionism is something to do with this right so uh this is archived now and this was talked about for deletion so if you know what you're looking for uh for sources yeah. it's just a bit find i put in deletion Right, perhaps Wikipedia would be a little better. So that's about changing the title. Um, I think it would make sense to broaden it to Wikimedia. Uh, Wikimedia Movement's response to 2019. So sounds good enough to me. Let's hold off on renaming until the deletion discussion is resolved. Now, where is the deletion discussion is what we want to know um it's certainly not encyclopedia guys um it's got to be said let's go back to the article uh one so this is one of my criticisms of wikipedia is when you do start looking at different layers of it um eventually uh, and if you're editing at the same time it's very you can't have different pages open at the same time on the same ip address which means that for the level of competency in terms of being able to edit you um it's not like editing in a uh in a code editor say um where you can edit in real time and where your versioning and all the rest of it uh, is sandbox bank as you're going along and you can pull things in and, and what have you. The, um, the editability at the front end of Wikipedia doesn't allow you to draw in the sources as they exist on, on one machine. And so it disrupts the workflow um i mean the, the markup stuff is easy enough to get the hang of but it's actually the operationality of the uh, uh or the functionality um which, 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 which i find incredibly buggy it, it, it's um it's it, it is old-fashioned um and uh um that causes a lot of problems it, it does cause problems um particularly for newbies uh, um Right, so this is Welcome to Wikipedia, the Wikipedia front page, uh, featured article in the news. Did you know on this day, today, community portal, sister projects. Um, 
Okay, right, I'm going to go here, history. So, Wikipedia coverage, that's the one we want there. That's still the archive, that's not what I want, then let's just get back here. go there then go back here no it's not it's not like in this is it I don't want that'll do us okay so that's the talk page on the face of it, it doesn't look like there's a lot of it but there's a whole archive um but no deletion discussion how do i find the deletion discussion right i'm not i'm not going to waste any more time looking for that but the deletion discussion will be very very interesting and the main criticism of this article is it's a puff piece it, it it's peacock is is this is the term um you know it's it's a subject about the observer of the subject itself and not only of that it's, it's, this is classic the medium is the message um it famously the the the, uh, the dictum is the medium is not the message um and and the famous jay gould e essay on that point um but here we go the covid 19 pandemic is covered by wikipedia extensively in real time and across many languages this coverage extended to many detail it, coverage extended to many detailed articles about various aspects it's happening still it extends to bad english um talk to yourself as well as many existing articles being amended to take account of the pandemic effect on them uh, some constructively others not dr vernon coleman uh, wikipedia and other wikipedia projects coverage of the pandemic and how the volunteer editing community achieved that coverage received widespread media attention for its comprehensiveness reliability and speed <coughs> right okay um so there you go this is wikipedia editing and discussing itself uh with a um a non-neutral point of view should we put it that way and it's peacocky and all of the all of the criticisms leveled by um editors against certain people um i kind of apply here but who's going to stand up to um you know the creme de la creme of the wikipedia in group this is uh it, it's kind of it, it's quintessentially about elitist double sandwiches uh, standards here is it's one rule for for, for for us and another for them um and uh I, unpacking that is very it, it, it's difficult because larry sanger's um uh view about uh giving due weight to expert opinion over general opinion it is well made and well argued um very subtly so though and and, and the subtlety of, of argumentation uh founded in logic uh linguistics and and and, and uh um the scientific method if you like as opposed to scientism is really what is 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 lacking in the um in in the very rigid um uh ideological stance which wikipedia has come to take un, un, under jimmy wales is um benevolent dictatorship you know uh, it's almost cult-like um and of course you know it's a shame in a way that sanger still isn't there fighting the corner of the more um uh critical thinking um uh, uh stance as it were very interesting so anyway that's that so i'm saying look you've got something like this 
they're saying about they're doing it in real time, blah de blah de blah de blah. That makes it Reuters and not an encyclopedia. And the key word here is the coverage. This coverage extended to. Um, this isn't written after the event. This is during the whole thing. It, it, it's it's a nonsense. This article should be, um, well, I it's it's not an encyclopedia. But, um, so. Where it belongs, let me tell you, is here, because there is another page which tells us a hell of a lot about, about the coverage, more so than, than this one. Um, deletionism and inclusionism are two philo philosophies of Wikipedia editing. Um, right, where are we? Let's go. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go from left to right deleting am i going to delete the pages as i go because i'm going to put these into a booklet no i'll leave them up there we've got enough bandwidth uh let me get to where i want to be going uh it's somewhere back here i think Maybe not. There we are. This is the one. Right. So here we are. Now, people, this is what you've been wanting all along. So this is the Wikipedia Wiki Project COVID-19. OK. And you can see this is the front page, the project page. And there are a number of tabs along here. So main talk task forces, alerts, news, tips, sources, source lists, missing topics, messages, assessment, portal. Okay. Uh, let's just have a look, because this is like the whole enchilada here. This is the big banana. Um, and here we go. If we look at page views now, um, let's see right all time okay the page was made in april 2020 so it's had 101,000 views now for such a massive trove of information that isn't that many uh let's just go back here um Page statistics. So let's have a look. Right. OK. Right. So we've got another believer and Moxie. We've just been looking at another believer on the uh, puff piece about Wikipedia coverage of this. Um, and between them, they've 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 done seventy nine, well over eighty percent of the work on this article. Um, right. So anyway, th th this is uh, more or less the handbook for how they want to cover uh, Wikipedia um, COVID nineteen on Wikipedia. So where are we? Uh, Content, category templates, assessment, recognised content, automated reports, right, tips, standard practices, food for thought. What's that then? Wikipedia, in the apocalypse, there are no rules, but please read carefully. Good God. Hold on. <laughs> that is shocking. Well, let's see what that says. Uh, Wikipedia ignore all rules says that if a rule prevents you from improving or maintaining Wikipedia, ignore it. Rules can be ignored at large if they will prevent appropriate Wikipedia coverage and handling of a subject. In unprecedented times, including but not limited to the apocalypse, other such Wikipedia era times include the aftermath of 9-11 and the current pandemic. Following rules is just as unlikely as the situation is when compared to normal life. 
editing Wikipedia in relation to the world changing event cannot follow rules that were not designed for it like how Paralympic swimmers are allowed different starting positions to the Olympic swimmers. In the same way, where possible, the policies and guidelines should be followed, but situations are likely, if not very probable, to arise where the rules do not account for the edits needing to be made, or where the rules would ask for something that is inaccurate or unknown. The climate crisis is one of the most apocalyptic events, but is slow enough to allow following Wikipedia rules and guidelines while we boil. Further events of impact often attract new editors. New editors don't know the rules. The event can also attract trolls. Trolls know the rules and look to break them. And sometimes cleaning up after trolls involves breaking the rules if done expeditiously. If the new editors are acting in good faith, try to retain them and teach them the rules for editing on other topics. And in the interest of preventing misinformation in an apocalypse, Wikipedia can be the front page of the Internet. Ignore the rules to squash the trolls. OK, there are some rules. Well, here we go. Uh, that's shocking. I've got, I've got to say, uh, I don't know why I'm shocked. I'm a cynical old bugger. Right. OK. Here we go. There we go. Wow, right. I don't, I don't want to misquote this next bit. Um, it's very troubling. That is, it, it's uh, a bit of an old slam dunk there, but where are we? Right, uh, this is a beautiful essay uh, by Georges Metomsky, and it's called The Relativistic Dialectics um, of uh, uh, The Liberation of Auschwitz. And um, in it, he quotes um, Heydrich, the Nazi war criminal, Verjudist Entscheider Ich. It's me who decides who is a Jew. Um, and uh, in Wikipedia land, obviously, it's uh, presumably, Jimmy Wales and um, these other gentlemen who, who, who decide who is the troll or who, who, who is the good Jew, who is the bad Jew. Um, I, putting it in those terms, but when they're talking in terms of the apocalypse, um, yeah, I've got to say, I'm quite, 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 quite shocked by, uh, by that. Here it is, look. In the apocalypse, there are no rules. Is there any talk on this? It's, uh, this page is in the scope of Wiki Project, Wikipedia essays, I see. Let's view the history. How many people have, 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 have uh, read that? Uh, Pearl before swine. Let's have a look. Um, Page views. Right. 
Right, all time. Well, my word, that, that it looks like I'm the only one that's read it. So that's, uh, oh no, eight page views, eight page views. Okay. So anyway, let's see. Um, there been eight page views of that. Project page.
here we go again resuming the broadcast um i'm afraid we just uh, froze the screen um but if this has re got back up so talk page wikipedia project page hopefully this will now go back to where we want to be here we go let's view the history here okay and so this is by user kings if so open link in new tab any idea you always like to find me helping to coordinate the venezuela bookie project okay um not because it's a state source not because it's socialists because it parrots Maduro's opinion, outright lies and common knowledge fact. Read more here. Of course, getting news from one of the biggest crises is important. So here are some more sources on Venezuela. Uh, among my specific areas of interest, I also do a fair amount of article reviewing on Wikipedia, predominantly uh, whatever those are. Of course, I still do it. And I have a few tips to review things quickly without doing it in a rush that may get others to do it too. Full text how here know the guidelines having a starting product right so here we go so hi latin american project venezuela okay so that's that there uh talk right okay so that's that there so that's so that's the editor that wrote this um why there are no rules wikipedia ignore the rules and there's a page right if a wall prevents you from improving or maintaining wikipedia ignore it Wow, okay. Um, fifth pillar, Wikipedia is no firm rules. Okay, well, well fair enough. I'm going with that. Um, it's o o open to... Um, interpretation, of course, and this is one interpretation of it. So things quick, it must be of interest. Okay. Uh, so anyway so this is talking about an ap apocalypse i mean it's it's written in a very non-neutral way but it says well that's fine because although that's a rule we can ignore it quite safely um and it is part it's linked to in this project page um And as it's on the front page, one assumes that it's actually endorsed by this page. And this page, if we look at this page, and we just say page statistics. It's this Moxie and another believer. So we haven't looked at this one, Moxie. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, hockey, maybe well, I was going to guess Canada. Um, main contributions. So, again, this is obviously another eminent Wikipedia. Let's have a look in their talk page how to unlock protected page for edit albania to the dashboard all right so this is obviously a much more active uh, in the general melee as it were um so more of a capo uh no, more of a foot soldier than a capo maybe um in the wikipedia mafia um 
So, okay, and then let's just, just to recap, going back here. There we are. Right, so this is the Wikipedia coverage one. Uh, and we had here page statistics. There you go. So another believer has done 61% of all the text on this puff piece. And Moxie is nowhere to be seen. So that would put our man here as a, a capo and Moxie as a foot soldier, really, I would have thought. Or maybe a head of family and a capo. Let's, let's see. Um, so this is the Wikipedia project page. And here is the pay dirt here is the rich seam so let's have a look news republic of congo presidential election why the hell is that on this Okay, and let's just uh, oh. open discussion. Current consensus. the current consensus on that and we wanted the talk page here hmm hold on that's changed in real time <laughs> There's a consensus there. That's the technical article in English Wikipedia on COVID-19. Right. I think this is nearly two hours long now, and I'm getting back into research from where I've been up to. Um, I've got some more analysis to do on here, but just wrapping up, um, uh, you can see um, on the... COVID-19 project page for Wikipedia, it's I've just shown you, it says there are no rules for uh, basically the in-group of, of editors that are underneath the main contributors that we see um, on the Wiki project page and also on the puff piece about Wikipedia coverage of the COVID-19 whole thing. So just go here. Uh, and let's just look at this one here. So page views is one thing, page statistics is another. And right, this is 21% is, so you've got Doc James and you've got Rex S. Uh, okay. Who are they? So hopefully what I've shown is, is, is how the different information can relate back to each other and how you can extract information from the data that builds up as the, um, as the article evolves, 
all the stuff in the back end of all with it including the links and the links between subject matter is one thing but also links between editors is another thing and if you look at the john swain stuff on twitter linkages between twitter accounts a similar analysis can be done with all this data between editors and so for instance if you wanted to find the william Connolly of uh covid19 you could perform a similar um giphy uh search um to the philosophy um, uh, connections uh, in the back end of Wikipedia. Now, and then that then will give you a map. Now, if you're a, a victim of character assassination like Dr. Vernon Coleman, uh, find uh, it's obvious on his page where, where, where this is coming from. Um, but, but it's, um, it alerted Wikipedia to leakages in its control of the narrative. And I would say that the article, the puff piece in the article, um, self-congratulatory as it is, you know, um, and inaccurate as to its own accuracy, um, kind of gives the lie really to what they actually see their job as being now. It's not about being a neutral point of view uh encyclopedia with encyclopedic entries it's more of an aspiration towards becoming an open source reuters almost um and that is essentially the point that i i would make um and uh i'm just gonna finish this now and um have a nice day <laughs>